Hello there, I'm the Dragonator, and I like fairy tales. I know that I talked about Snow White and Rose Red before, but I'm sure that many of you know that Snow White actually has another tale. But when you look up Snow White, you won't see Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. You're actually going to see a tale called Snowdrop. And this is the original tale of Snowdrop. Once there was a princess, and her mother was very, very kind. Unfortunately, because this is a fairy tale, she died. As a result, the king married, and while his new wife was beautiful on the outside, her inside was not as kind. She wasn't as kind as his last wife. In fact, she had a magic mirror. She knew how to use magic. Whenever she would use it, she would ask, Mirror, mirror, hanging there, who in all the land is most fair? And it would reply, You are most fair, my lady queen, not fair in the land I ween. And she knew that it was the truth, because that's what the magic mirror did. However, one day, when Snowdrop was really young, but still pretty and kind, she asked the mirror, who in all the land is most fair? And the mirror replied this time, My lady queen, you are fair, tis true, but Snowdrop is fairer far than you. And this made the queen very, very angry. As a result, she hired a huntsman to kill Snowdrop. And what happened was the huntsman almost did as he was told, until Snowdrop cried and asked the huntsman to spare her. She would promise to run away and never go back home. And because Snowdrop is a princess, the huntsman agreed. And the queen was happy because she thought that Snowdrop was dead. However, Snowdrop was still alive. And she ran and ran and ran until she saw a house. And she went inside. And she saw that there were little tables and little chairs and little couches and little beds. And she went inside with no one else around. And she was hungry and thirsty, so she ate and she drank. And then when she was sleepy, she went to one of the be to all seven of these beds. And they were tiny, tiny beds. But... She was able to fall asleep. Turns out the house was inhabited by dwarves, seven of them to be exact. And when he, the, all seven of them went back home from work, they noticed that something was off. Chairs are, have been sat on, loaves have been eaten, porridges, and cups were not as full as they should have been. Something was off. So when they went to their room, they noticed little Snowdrop. And they, and they all thought that she was so pretty. And she, they did not want to wake her up. Instead of trying to wake her up, they left her alone for the night. And then she woke up. And she saw the seven dwarfs. And she was so scared. But they were nice. And they asked her her name, and she said that she was Snowdrop. And she told them the story of what happened to her. And she promised that she would cook and clean for them while they were gone. And that's what she did. As long as the stepmother was not around, that she knew that she would be safe. But... That wasn't meant to be, because one day, probably the day afterwards, the queen asked the mirror, 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 hanging there, who in all the land is most fair? And the mirror replied, my lady queen, you are fair, tis true, but Snowdrop is far fairer far than you, Snowdrop, who dwells with the seven little men, 
is as fair as you, as fair again. <sighs> Darn it, said the queen. I need to find out how to kill her once and for all. And she decided that she was going to dress up as an old saleswoman. So she went to the door of the seven dwarves while they were away and there was just no drop. And she offered a pretty lace. Now it wasn't like it was some sort of magic lace or anything like that. But Snowdrop wanted to try it out. So the evil queen tied her dress so tightly with the lace that Snowdrop dropped. Which sounds really weird to say. Not gonna lie. But she did. She dropped because she couldn't breathe. The seven dwarves went back home and they saw little Snowdrop lying on the floor. And when they saw that she was tightened by the lace, they cut it and she was brought back to life. But the mirror answered the same question, exactly the same. And the queen was like, you know what? I'm going to make a comb, a poisonous comb. And she was going to dress herself up as a different saleswoman this time. And Snowdrop was smarter, and she said, I'm not going to have you come in. Nuh-uh, nuh-uh. But when she saw the comb, she thought that, oh, it's fine. It's fine this time. It's not like the last woman that tried to kill me. Because the comb was so pretty. And when the comb touched her hair, it worked instantly, and she fell down again. Snowdrop dropped again. And then the seven dwarves went back home from work and they found the comb still on her head. And one of the dwarves took it out and Snowdrop was okay again. And the mirror said once again that Snowdrop was still alive. And this time, it was not going to be so easy. Because here's the thing. Lace, combs, they were easy to get rid of. Just yank the comb out, cut the lace, and Snowdrop would be brought back to life. But this time, she made a poisonous apple. That wouldn't be too easy to get rid of. If you ate it, you could die. She made a poisonous apple. The reddest apple in existence. One that would look so appetizing that even Snowdrop took the bait. And Snowdrop dropped as soon as she ate a bite. Finally, Snowdrop was dead. And the mirror said the exact same thing as it was before Snowdrop became fairer than the queen. The dwarves tried everything when they went back home. They tried unlacing any laces, combing her hair, washing her. They tried everything. And they decided it was probably too late. There was probably no way that they could get out of this, so they decided to have a funeral. It hadn't been too long since they had her in a casket and a coffin that a prince came up to the dwarves and he asked for the coffin. And the dwarf was like, the dwarves were like, "No, we we can't give you this. This was the this was the princess that we were trying to protect from her evil stepmother." And the prince was like, but she's so pretty. I love her already. The dwarves decided they would let him have the coffin. The prince and his servants weren't quite the most. Let's just say they were clumsy. They tripped on a bush. It was just a bush. They're so clumsy they tripped on a bush. And the, and the poisonous bit of the apple just pew, out of her mouth. 
And she was confused, very confused. Where am I? She asked. And the prince pretty much proposed right then and there. And she was like, uh, okay. When I'm older, when we're both older. And that's what happened. She, they grew up and she got married. Even the stepmother was invited to the wedding. But when the evil queen went to the wedding, there was iron shoes just prepared for her. And they were magical shoes where she was to dance and dance and dance until she died. And everybody else lived happily ever after. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have a very safe and happy Halloween. I will be back on Saturday live for my reveal of my 2D model. And I hope to see you then. 10 o'clock a.m. on YouTube. Here on YouTube. And I hope to see you there. Bye!